What's up, everybody? How's everybody doing? Your boy is back with the main menu. And we're about to start episode two of Life is Strange. I was going to start episode two yesterday, but my dumb self didn't realize I didn't download episode two yet. So I had to download it and wait like, I don't know, I only took like eight hours to download. I was like, fuck. So I couldn't get it up in time for yesterday but it finally downloaded and i'm finally gonna play it for you guys so here we go episode two episode one was so lit the ending was so great i can't wait to see what happens with that it's gonna be so so good man i'm loving the story so far loving the characters loving the soundtrack the soundtrack is really great in the previous episode of life is strange get that gun away from me Ooh. Reverse! Pieces what the of fuck? But he could be talking about my reaction, have exactly. You done something wrong? Talk to me. Hey, Victoria. What do you want, Max? I see everything here at Blackwell. Do you understand what I'm saying? No, and leave me alone. For reals, Warren, this is between you and me. Don't insult me. Max, go on. Hey, leave him alone. Max? Shh. Chloe? It makes perfect sense I'd see you today. Welcome home, Max. That's Rachel Amber. Her missing person posters are all over Blackwell. Six months ago, she just left Arcadia. Without a word. Without me. Something happened to her. Wait! Is that grass? Tell me the truth. That's an order. I didn't black out. I had another vision. The town is going to get wiped out by a tornado. Max, tell me everything. The voices don't really match match up a lot in this game, but uh, it's all right. Like, like the the motion of the of the mouth moving it doesn't like connect with what they're saying sometimes. But it's all right. It's not a huge deal. But I notice that sometimes. Snooze. Did she finally get some rest? Was it all a dream? What's going on? Oh, hell yeah. That soundtrack again, though. I like the vibe. I'm bobbing my head right now. You guys can't see it, but I am. Fuck yeah. She need to clean her room. It's looking a bit of a mess. Life is Strange, Episode 2, Out of Time. Ooh, I like that title. She must be high, ain't got no cover or nothing. <laughs> Look at her shirt. I like it. She's resting so peacefully, man. Do I want to really want to wake her up right now? She seems like she needed a rest, you know? I'll get up. Oh, track one. Nice. Got the guitar over there. All right, I'll get up. I am so wrecked after staying up all night. I could use my rewind to catch a few more Zs, but maybe I better save my strength. Yeah, maybe. Being a superhero is dirty work. I need to shower. Mrs. Hoida is still out sick. I heard somebody say she has severe depression. Poor thing. Damn, man. Okay, Max. Let's hit the showers now. Got the shower supplies. Oh, I got two messages from Chloe. Oh, I wonder if I'll ever wear a watch again. Huh. It's got a frog on it. I'm gonna read those messages real quick. On my way. You are evil 40 minutes or else. Do not be late or I know time is not on your side. Don't get high like in my room. 
Okay. Even with all this crazy shit going on, it is so cool having Chloe back in my life again. Like no time has passed. It is pretty cool. I like Chloe a lot. Now I have to wonder if any of these films are based on a true story. Hmm. I wonder. I'll miss going to the games with my dad. Go Thunderbirds. Go Thunderbirds. Oh, can I water the plant now? I didn't do it last time. Drink up. I can bring you back. I hold the power over life itself. Does the action have consequences? Why would that have consequences? I just watered my damn plant, okay? Leave me alone. I need some water. The fuck, bro? I'm trying to water my plant. You gonna say it has consequences? What kind of shit is this? I admit, this is hilarious, but I shouldn't sink to Victoria's bully level. Well, she deserves it, I mean. Just saying. Uh, camera. Look at. Take a selfie. Hell yeah. No smiling. Take your power seriously. Selfie game too strong. That selfie game though. Post that shit on Insta. Sticky note. I can't keep my eyes open, but I know there's a scientific answer. Oh my god. Definitely not gonna read all of that. All right, don't look at basically everything in here. I'm going to, oh, I hadn't opened this yet. Let me open this, see, what, see what's in here. It'd be fun to get some peeps together and play a real game instead of drama games. I swear, every time she comments on something, I, I just have a huge grin on my face. This is so, you just don't see that a lot in games, you know? Make the bed? Hell yeah, I'm going to make the bed. I am so not a rebel. I always like my bed to be neat and tidy. Thanks, Mom. Thank you for raising me right, Mom. Thank you. The Max Caulfield Photo Memorial Wall. Nice. Use. Mom. Hey, honey, I hope you didn't forget to water the plant we gave you, but don't drown it either. Mommy. Hey, I actually did water my plant. Thank you, Mom. You know I got this. Read. Oh, oh that's our journal. I need to read that right now. Where's the shower at? Do not forget I need those papers before tonight. Like now. Thanks, Sherry. Yeah, of course, Victoria. I'll get the tests and papers to you this afternoon. I am so on it. Consider it done. Victoria's room. Knock on the door. Knock, knock. Fine, I won't disturb you. Fine, I won't disturb you. I, th I thought maybe if you knocked a Fine, few more times, she might open the door, but I guess not. Where's the shower at, though? Where can I take a shower? Kate's room. Kate is an early bird. She might be up and gone. Hmm, okay. Well, bang for God? Oh, no. Erase that. Kate's not that type of girl. I sure would like to catch this hall tagger. Me too. Did he did he touch mine? Look at me, I'm a Max Selfie. The fuck, bro? Messing up my shit. I don't like it. Warning, surveillance cam on. Ha <laughs> ha. I bet he won't do it no more. Oh there he is. This little dick ass. Come here. Come here, you f yeah, I saw you. Yeah, I saw you. Gross. The Vortex Club are such pigs. I'm glad I pissed them off. I didn't think Kate was like this. Taylor's room. Bros. Ew. We shouldn't be watching this. Where's Everybody the shower at, though? She's like, take a shower, but I don't know. Bathroom, so. It's not in there, I guess. That's toilet paper. Don't need that. Oh, here we go. Showers. Okay. I don't know how I feel about this. We might see some boobies. Who knows? Hey, Kate. How are you doing? I'm here. Thanks again for standing up for me yesterday. I needed that. No problem, Kate. You're a good Anytime. chick. That guy has issues. Doesn't everybody here? 
By the way, Max, do you still have my copy of the October Country? Oh, yes, of course. It's great so far. I didn't realize Bradbury was such a poet. Can you please bring it back to my room this morning? I just need to take some notes for class. Absolutely. I'll bring it by later. I get it for. All right, time to take a shower. Time to scrub a dub dub. I don't want to be dirty. I feel like something's about to happen. Oh What's God, up, I knew it. Fucking cool. knew it. That's it. That video of you clubbing didn't look like homework. Victoria, that wasn't me. Oh my God, right. Don't be shy. I think it's awesome you set a tongue record on video. <laughs> you're going to be sorry someday. Oh, boo hoo. I'm sorry you're a viral slut. I'm sure she had fun. Looks like it. I know Nathan hooked her up. And you know he has the good shit. Preach it, sister. Yuck! I still have goddamn paint all over my face. Max Selfie thought she was a badass taking that picture. I should have beat her down. That was so uncool. She's jealous because Mark, Mr. Jefferson, knows I'm going to win the Everyday Heroes contest. He thinks Max is a joke. Oh, really now? Man, I hate She's that a girl. weirdo with that dumb camera. I hate that I'm so quirky crap. Anyway, let's leave the link to Kate's video so everybody gets a chance to see her in action. You are such an evil biatch. I love it. <laughs> Not on my watch. I'm gonna erase that shit. As soon as I get out, you already know. I guess she didn't uh, get any new clothes. She's to go wear the same clothes. Okay, it's all good. I better get dressed and go give back Kate's book. What you need to do is erase this damn message. Even if I can stop one person from watching it, it's worth it. Got the gotta wash my face. Oh, I'm sorry. I forgot. Oh shit. My bad. My bad. Alright. Let's leave. This is a fun game, man. I like it. I love how the re relationships I'm building. I love the world so far. I love the characters. I love everything about it, you know? I need to go back to my room and get that book for Kate. If I can find it. This messy ass dorm. Wait, somebody came in here and ransacked the place, didn't they? Ugh, no fucking way. This is not why I came to Blackwell. And I still have to clean all this crap up after I find Kate's book. Damn. Tidy up. Ta da. <laughs> I do love a clean room. Very zen. Except for that bullshit graffiti. My desk is a pigsty, but I know it ain't there. Hold on, let me erase that real quick. Victoria, of course. That's what I get for making fun of her. Bitch. Oh, you probably can't erase that. Maybe that's a permanent marker. No book here. There it is. Oh, of shit. she just spilled soda on Kate's book. I better fix this fast. Kate needs the book, and I don't want to add to her list of problems. I can reverse that. 
Move. Be gone, foul soft drink. Now I can take it. Aha, you sneaky book. You're mine. I swear that power is so cool, man, how she can just do that. If she messes up, she can fix it. I like it. I need to get dressed before I go there. Oh, okay. I'll dress you up. Get dressed. Maybe I'll just put on a shirt and jeans. Hey, Einstein had the same exact suit for every day of the week. And he couldn't even rewind time. Hmm. <laughs> That's cute. That's funny. I feel you, Max. Oh, you already know I'm gonna do it. Now I can finally take this back to Kate before I'm late. A private number. Keep your smart mouth shut about everything or I'm coming for your ass. I know where you sleep. The fuck? Private number? It's gotta be Nathan. Oh shit. Now I'm getting anonymous threats? It never ends. This has to be from Nathan. Has to be. But it could be anybody. I better be doubly careful around here or I could be in serious danger. You can rewind. Not already. You can rewind time. I think you're in perfect. Like she's like perfect right now. Like even if she somebody even tries to kill her, she's like, nope. Reverse that shit. You know. Like she's. I think she's all right. You know. But you. But you. Know, in a way, if you think about it, if somebody kills in her sleep, like she's dead. Like she can't rewind time anymore. So I understand now. I kind of feel her. But please, can I? Can I get in her room? Fine, I won't disturb you. Oh, I hate that. Fine, I won't disturb you. I wanted to go in her room and like fuck shit up, but I guess not. Or like write on her little thing. I'll tell you, man, I get revenge, bro. Kate, you in there? Yes, I'm here. Come in, Max. Oh, Kate. Oh, she got violin though. Nice. Kate used to play the violin every morning. She stopped last week. That damn Victoria took her heart out. Kate is all alone dealing with this video bullshit. I hope her mother doesn't disown her. Damn, man. So much shit in this game. So much backstory with each character. I love it. Tissues. That's a lot of tears. She's going to go through boxes. Damn, man. I had no idea that Kate ever hung out with Alyssa and Stella. Oh, nice. Is that Jesus? Hey, I'm trying to use my powers for good. <laughs> I mean, hey. Take a photo of the rabbit. Nice. I had to. Letter. Ouch. She left out amnation. Dear Katie, no spirit or devil could have prepared me for what you have done in that videotape. And like a Jezebel, you released your harlot image before God's eye. I will pray with my church for your soul to be saved from eternal hellfire. Auntie Marsh. Damn. She's getting a lot of shit for that video. From our family, too. She just needs a hug, man. Hey, Kate, I brought your book. Max, why did you step in between David and me yesterday? I hate bullies. I hate bullies. David Madsen should know better. I was hoping he would. But it's nice to see that you care about me. Kate, I actually do care. So, what's the story with you and David? Well, he's a total paranoid ass. He thinks I'm part of the Vortex Club. Yeah, right. Why? Why does he think that? Because he saw the video. You know how humiliating this is for me? I know this sucks, Kate, but... Tell me about the video and maybe I can help. Basically, I went to one Vortex Club party and ended up making out with a bunch of people. And I have no memory of it. Doesn't sound like you. It doesn't sound like you. I can't see you partying with Victoria. I didn't. You have to tell me more than that. What happened at the party? Did you drink? 
I swear to God, I had one sip of red wine, and then I drank water. Not enough to get wasted. Not enough to get wasted, is it? I don't get wasted. Ever. I take a sip at church, and I don't end up on a viral video, okay? Did somebody drug you? I, I think remember... so. I remember getting sick and dizzy. Go on. Then Nathan Prescott said he would take me to the hospital. Nathan Prescott? Nathan Prescott? Oh, shit. He was being nice for a change when he offered to help me. He's the opposite of nice. What next? All I recall is driving for a long time. And I woke up in a room. I thought it was a hospital because it was so white and bright. Go on. I'm listening. Somebody was talking to me in a soft voice. I thought it was a doctor until I heard Nathan and felt a sharp sting in my neck. And... And... And? And? That's all I remember. I don't know what happened. I woke up outside my dorm room the next day. I didn't have any marks or bruises, but I felt gross. So, who took the video of you at the party? I have no idea. Probably Victoria. She was there being her mean self. Jesus, Kate. I'm sorry. This is serious shit. How do I get a viral video taken down? I know it's already spreading. What if my church sees that? I need to know what to do. Kate, we'll figure it out. I'll check back later, okay? Thanks, Max. You can put my book here near my bag. Damn, man, I feel so bad for her. That damn Nathan drugged her. I already know. So, Max, can I ask you a question? And please be honest. Absolutely, Kate. Anything. I need to find out if Nathan Prescott helped me or hurt me after that party. Should I go to the police? Oh my god. No, bro. <laughs> oh shit. I don't want to, I mean... We don't have a lot of proof. We really don't. We just know Nathan Prescott's an asshole. But do we really know? I mean, I... Only thing about going to police is that... I don't want her to get any, like, Nathan Prescott on her case, you know? Like, Nathan Prescott, oh, she went to the police? I'm definitely gonna kill that bitch, you know? I don't want to, like, put her in that situation. You know, snitches get stitches. Just saying. And I'd rather look for proof right now to make sure we got all the evidence against them then go to the police, if you know what I mean. That's how I'm looking at it. It's the logic way to look at it. Because you go to the police right now, like they'll probably laugh like, what's the evidence? Uh, are you serious? He, Nathan's so wealthy, he probably got the police on his payroll. Who knows? Who knows at this point? So I have to go and look for, for proof. I have to. If you do that... They won't believe you. Exactly. You're on video grabbing at all those guys and they'll use that against you. Bad. But I know I was drugged. That's what you have to prove, not them. I'm just telling you how the cops in school will look at this. The video doesn't exactly back you up. You make me feel so hopeless. No, no, Kate. I just don't want you to get hurt anymore. That seems impossible at this point. So that's your answer? I, I think we should wait. There are other things going on that might help you. But not right now. So I can walk down the halls with people calling me a viral slut. Thanks, Max. Oh, fuck! I want her to be happy. I want her to be... Oh, my God. Good job, Dr. Max. She didn't like what I had to say, but we need more proof of what happened. Ah. Uh... Oh, this damn game, bro. Oh, my God. Do I go back? Do I rewind time or no? I don't want her to be mad at me, but I still feel like I'm doing the right thing. I'm still, like, I feel like I'll make it up to her in the long run. Like, hey, I got all the evidence now. We can. But, yeah, but. Maybe she'll ha like me after that. I don't know, man. I'm, just, I'm like shaking right now because I really don't know what to do I wish like somebody can like tell me like dude you need to do this 
But I, I know I, I can't. Ugh. Oh my god. Why is this decision so impactful? Why? Why are you doing this to me, Square Enix? Why? Oh, oh, oh. I don't know what to do, guys. I don't know. She's pissed off at me. I don't want that. I don't want it. Ugh. Damn it. Damn it, damn it, damn it. I still feel like she goes to police and just go laugh at her face. And I just feel like, I just feel it. They just go laugh at her. Like, hey, this is what the video says. I mean, what can the police do, really? I mean, they can't really do anything right now. Right? Or am I wrong about that? Maybe they can't just... Oh, my God. Oh. Dude, my head hurts right now. I can't think. I really can't. Dude, this is like make or break right now. We're only in episode two. Fuck. You know what? Let's go to the gut. Go with my gut. Go with my decision. I know she's pissed now. I feel like she'd be more grateful after I get evidence on Nathan or something. Then... We'll finally take down Victoria and Nathan in the end. She'd be happy and like me more. I I just feel like if we go to the police right now, they just go laugh at our faces, say, where's the evidence? Where's your proof? And we're like, well, we think he drugged her. Like, I mean, come on, you know? Come on. So I'm just going to go with it. I'm going with it. I'm sorry. I have to go with it. I know she hates me right now, but I have to go with it. Kate even makes notes in her Bible. My parents never once took me to church. I had nothing to rebel against. I don't know what to believe now. Come to me, all you, come to me, all you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. Matthew eleven twenty eight. Proverbs twenty one fifteen. We justice is done. When justice is done, it brings joy to the righteous, but terror to the evil doers. Yeah, read your Bibles more, kids. The Bible's a good book. I don't know if you guys ever knew, but pretty sure it's obvious. I do believe in God. I believe in Jesus Christ. I believe Jesus is our Lord and Savior. So there you go. Now you Damn, know. It's the all American zombie family. I'm not like super, super into church, but I do go to church often. Not too like it's like fifty fifty. Like like I can't sometimes I can't make it every Sunday, but I do try. I really do. But um but I've been like, I like switch churches a lot. Like I've been moving around churches and I haven't really found like a good like pinpoint church yet. So it's just how it is where I live at. So many churches where I live at though. So there's a lot of options. It's way too emo in here. Kate isn't that gloomy until lately. But yeah, I need to start going to church more though. I, I went a lot like about a year and a half, two years ago. Like I went like every Sunday and I just got, got, got out of it. I need to get back into it for real. Almost forgot what Kate looks like when she smiles. Damn, man, I feel so bad. I still want to rewind time, though. I, feel, I still feel that itch, too, but I'm like, can't do it, you know? I don't want to risk it. I really don't. Kate's room is usually immaculate. For her, this must be a pigsty. But I'm going to end the video right here. We left on uh, a big decision. We're going to leave it right here. Thank you guys for everything. You guys are awesome. I will post more videos today. Don't worry, because I just can't put this game down. I want to play it so, so much. Like, to see what happens, because, like, this is a big decision. Hopefully, it doesn't bite me in the ass. Oh, my God. But we'll see what happens. I'm going with my gut. I'm just going to go with it, you know? But all that being said, guys, thank you for everything. You guys are awesome. Keep subscribing to Bulletproof Games. We're at 2,400 subs right now, guys. That's crazy. Never, I never really thought I'd ever make it that high, and, uh... I just keep growing every time I see my uh, my uh, sub boxes, so it's like, damn, man. It's crazy seeing the growth, seeing how I'm growing, seeing my gaming stories where I'm, like, getting the Blue Yeti, getting my headphones, you know. I'm saving up for a PC right now. I'm getting a green screen soon. Also, I'm doing. I'm trying to do like a, be a huge, like, streamer as well on Twitch, so that way you guys get to see me live stream and all that as well. It's going to be great. 2017 will be my year, I'm telling you, man. I got the camera and all that. It's going to be great, man. I feel it. I feel it in my bones. I feel it in my insides. It's going to be great. 2017 will be, will be your boy's year, hopefully. But truthfully, it will be. But I got to go. Thank you again. And as always, stay different.
from everybody else. You are witnessing greatness. And I will be back with more of Life is Strange. I'll see you guys then.